Yep. We got it. We got it. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And finally, I got my hands on the Ninja Foodie XL Pro Grill and Griddle. Compared to last year's model, the XL, this seems more compact, which is good. The front looks less intimidating. Nothing on the sides. Got a release button right there, and I'm going to show you what that is, what that's used for in a bit. Nothing to really see in the back, but just wanted to show you. Let's start off with the length of the cord. Pretty decent length. Three prong. And guys, since I this has been out for a few months, and a, a lot of my peers have already unboxed this and did a couple cooks on it already on YouTube, I'm just going to speed through this process. But let's just open it up. What's different about this Ninja Grill, uh, as opposed to the previous years, this has heat from the bottom. So you can it has a griddle plate, and actually... So you have the air fryer coming from the top and you have the, the griddle portion where heat actually comes from the bottom. So this is what it looks like without any plates on there. We're going to add that in a second, but I just wanted you to see it. All right, guys, let's look at the top, guys. So this is where the air frying action happens. And it looks like that little mesh plate is just easy to come off. Maybe throw it in your dishwasher or soak it. This just looks a whole lot easier to clean than previous models, which is refreshing. Good job. Wasn't much to unbox here, guys, because besides the machine, these are the only three things besides the manual and quick start guide that came in the box, which is cool. So this is the grill grade, guys. This is the main plate that will be in your machine. Um, this machine needs to be in for it to operate. So whether you're griddling or grilling or air frying, doesn't matter, this plate needs to be in. And we'll, we'll go over all of that later, but just wanted to show you this plate. Let's turn it upside down, see what we're working with. Get all that stuff going on right there. So, I did notice it has this little area where all the you know drippings can go kind of reminds me of like a George Foreman kind of deal which is cool I was wondering if I was losing any real estate from last year I whipped out my rack from last year's model and I'm not see comes like right there so it's a little wider so cool which means, I'm sorry ladies, there will be no rack action with this machine. Because like I said, this plate has to go in. And it wouldn't make sense to put a rack on top of this. Now to release that plate for cleaning or whatever have you, just press that. And it comes right out. Just remember, you know you're putting it in right when the drip tray area is in the front. I try to put it in the other way, it won't even fit. So the, you can't put it in wrong anyway. Just remember when you put it in, press down till you hear a click. It gets real simple from here, guys. If you want to air fry, you just take this air fry basket, position it in the middle, close it down. And when you're griddling, same difference. You just take the griddle plate, position it in the middle, and boom. And of course, when you're griddling, you're going to have the lid open because you're using the bottom heat to, you know, make whatever you're making. Eggs, pancakes, you know, you get the point. All right, guys, I'm ready to plug this in for the first time. All right, it's plugged in. So can you see? Yes. All right. So we got power, preheat. We got grill, roast, broil, bake, 
barbecue griddle, air crisp, and dehydrate. Over here we got temp, time, and function. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, what I like, what I've noticed about this machine right away is it's less intimidating than previous models because what you see here is what you get. It's no guessing what you have to press. Just out of curiosity, since we're here, we're at grill. I'm going to hit temp. And that starts flashing. So it goes to max. And so you got low, medium, high, and max. Okay, so there's no numbers or anything like that. Okay. I bet the manual will give charts on what all that means or what temperature those are. Okay. So, and out of curiosity, again, I'm going to go to air crisp, which is the air fryer portion. That's, those are the two things I'll be using mostly on this machine. So I hit function because I want to change the function. Now we're on air crisp. Now I'm going to hit temp. I want to know how high that goes. Why isn't that blinking? Did, okay, there we go. All right. So 450. Cool. That works. Now, of course, this comes with a manual. All the do's and don'ts how to clean it, what the parts names are, bop bop bop. Just do's and don'ts stuff, not nothing to write home about, but you do get this Ninja Foodie XL Grill and Griddle Quick Start Guide, which has recipes in there. Uh, 15 to be exact. So let's thumb through that. And what I like about this book, this recipe little booklet, it has charts, and that's what we need. It has grill charts. Let's go here. Come on. So, grill charts and that's continued. Yep, still going. And it has from frozen, I saw. Where's that? Yep. Open hood. But guys, that's all I got for my unboxing. I'm 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 ready to cook. So I want to put this on griddle. We're gonna we're gonna christen this machine real quick. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna hit temp. See how that looks. So the minimum is 300. Max is 400. I think I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna press this in to start says shut lid so I guess it's gonna preheat which makes sense let me go ahead and put my griddle plate in oh you can't see so I'm gonna close the lid like it acts and now it says preheat which makes sense it's gonna get the uh, griddle nice and hot so I'll be back when the preheat's done best way to break her open is with a nice thick slab of bacon. All right guys, after about a minute and a half, I hear this. So, uh, yeah. About four minutes has passed now. We're getting there. Okay, it says add food. So let's do that. camera. Alright, let's get this bacon on here. If I could get it loose. Okay. Oh, you get the sizzle, right? That's at the point. And by the way, guys, I could have air fried these. Put the air fry basket and air fry these, no problem. But I have something in store for all that good bacon grease. So just looking at this real quick, I guess if like the oil were to reach a level like above that, it would go over and then 
default, I guess, drip down into that drip tray under here. I'm guessing. So, okay. And they have it on both sides, of course. I'm thinking they should have made like a slit right here so that the, some of the grease can come out. But that's just me. Well, it's definitely doing a good job cooking. Try and get them away from the oil. I'll put them in paper towels when I'm done. Good job. See, all, all this is oil right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is like a puddle of oil. I don't see any smoke. Just smells like good, 100% wholesome bacon in here. <laughs> all right, we're about done with the bacon. We got some seasoned red and white onions and some seasoned mushrooms. Okay, let's get our onions in. Remember that's one medium red, one medium white. And hi, get over there. Don't have much room for the mushrooms, but we're gonna make it fit. Don't you worry. That's uh, one pound of mushrooms. Put some li liquid smoke in my go-to seasoning. On the mushrooms, I put applewood rub, my go-to seasoning, on the onions. What happens when I close the lid? Can I close? Can I close the lid? Will it let me? It will. <laughs> and the motor is, sounds like it's going on. That's cool. That's cool. It's like double action, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we just missed it. At the 15 minute point, it, it said flip right here. So that's halfway. Figured I'd sh tell you that. I ain't mad at all, guys. Smelling absolutely fantastic in here. Let me mix some of this around for you guys. I've been doing this like every five minutes. I'm trying to let all this goodness cook down into the onions and mushrooms. That's not the flavor right there. I'm going to add five minutes. I'm going to see if I could add, you know, time on this while I'm cooking. I know I can. I just wanted to show you guys. And remember, I just opened the box. I didn't even look at any unboxing videos more than two minutes. So this is off the fly. All I can say guys is that's nothing but flavor right there. Nothing but flavor. Alright guys, these are done to my liking so I'm going to pull them out. Smells so good, guys. Let me show you how to stop this, by the way. I didn't show you that. You just push this in. And it says end. Go ahead and get this out, guys. Get my mid out, take this off. Boom. And that's what we're working with, guys. 
I let the extra oil drip out there. We're good to go on that. I was going to do burgers and hot dogs, but as you can see from this rack, there's not much room to really put anything other than these four burgers. But we'll see when we get it on there. We'll see. But we're going to do some burgers right now. Anywho, they said grill at high for 9 to 13 minutes. So I'm, I'm definitely doing 13 minutes because I'm more of a well done type of guy. So there you go. So anywho, we're on high, so that's where we want to be. So we're just going to change the time, and we're going to change that to 13 minutes. Then I'm going to push this in to start. It's going to ask me to close the lid so that it can preheat. All right, so I'll be back. Almost done preheating. All right, guys, we're ready to add our food. Sizzle. Oh, you couldn't see it. I'm sorry. There it is. So let's close it up. the flip see what we got nice got my blackstone indoor grill little spatula flipper thingy turn these over oh, I messed that one up that's all right that is all right. Okay. One minute left and I have not seen an ounce of smoke come out of this machine. Good job, Ninja. So it sounds like when we're done, see what we're working with. Okay. See the juice is running out. Let me give it a temp. This is, now I want mine to be a well over 160. So let's see, 164, 169, 171, 72. It looks like we're slowing down. Yep, 173. I'll take it. And by the way, I added two minutes, so I did 15 minutes because I, I know from past experience not just with Ninja, but any any of these recipe books. The time that they have, you're going to see a little pink in the middle. And I know some people don't mind eating it like that, but I do. So, I added two minutes. <laughs> Shout out to Aldi. We're going to double cheese these bad boys. If I thought of this sooner, I could have closed it down. You know, put the cheese on and close it down and let the residual heat melt the cheese. But we'll see. Alright. Let's do this. Uh, it has broil, right? Let's use broil. Um, time, I don't want 10 minutes. I want, eh, like 3 minutes. And maybe not even that long. Oh. Start. There you go. It says add food. Lift up, close down. Okay, there we go. When it says add, when it's already at temperature, um, it wouldn't need to preheat and it'll just automatically say add food. All you have to do is lift up the lid and close it back down and it'll be ready to cook. All right, guys, I'm gonna stop it short. Perfect. I did two minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna hit the button on the side here. So I could, uh, we're gonna go to a commercial timeout. I'm gonna 
rinse this and uh, drain the oil so we can do our final cook of this unboxing. This non-stick is legit, just came right off. Use some warm water and it just all fell right off. Took a paper towel and just dried it to my best of my ability. I didn't dry it all the way because for our last cook we will be using our air fryer basket. I'm going to put as much as I can in here. These onion rings are pretty big. I would like to put the whole bag. You know, I'm going to put the whole bag. I think I could get it. Yeah, let's do it. Put the whole dag on bag. Yep. Boom. Yeah. All right, let's get this thing on. I'm going to go to air crisp. I'm going to go to temp. Uh, we'll do, I'll do, I'll do 400. I won't go too high. Um, temp, I'm going to do 12 minutes. That should be good, right? I am going to hit start. And I'm going to press preheat because I'm going to bypass it. Lift the lid up, close it down. All right, I'll be back in six minutes. All right, six minutes have passed. All right, so I'm going to flip these over. They are coming along nicely. I added two minutes for 14 minutes. You know, I thought I was done, but I'm not. Um, apparently, this machine does something um, something like open hood grilling. So, if that's the case, we'll just make our hot dogs that way so we could show off that portion of this machine as well. And you already know it's got to be Nathan's. Okay, to do this, let's see. Can't use the grill because you have to shut the lid. So you would have to use the griddle. And even when we're griddling, this plate has to be on. So we just won't put the griddle plate on. Ha! There we go. So, the book says it needs to be on high. So let's look at the temps here. Okay, so that, that I guess that's high. And then... Time... We'll put it down to like 15 minutes, I guess, something like that. 14 minutes. Yeah, let's do that. Shut lid, okay. Gonna preheat. All right, guys, we're ready to add hot dogs. And I kind of like to do it this way anyway, because this is kind of like at a slant. So now you can kind of just watch it. And if it starts rolling, you can just, you know. Because if the, like if you're air frying it, you have the, the air blowing down. Not saying it would roll it, but. I have an eight pack guy, so. That's all of them. So I'm gonna cook them just like that. Not closing the hood. That's cool. It's gonna be some awesome. I can see the marks already. I want to try to turn them by itself, Lord. Alright, I'll just leave it alone. I don't think this would take 14 minutes. I think the recipe book assumed that these would be like frozen and these weren't. So I'm thinking this is gonna take about four to four to seven minutes. I like my little burnt with the burnt marks on them. Two of them fell down by themselves. <laughs> Gotta say it's a little slant, but it's alright. We'll get them out. Thank <laughs> you.
Now guys, just warning, if you cook it this way, you will see smoke. Um, so go ahead and open your windows and stuff like that. But again, we could have air fried it. We could have grilled it where um, the lid would have been closed. But I like this way. This this has that outside backyard type of feel. I could dig it. Almost done. I'll give him another, I guess, five minutes or so. Okay guys, these are done. This is how I like them. And this could be you. I'm ready to make my plate guys. You made it this far, go ahead and subscribe. All right, the sun's going down and I'm starving. So this is gonna be a late lunch for me. I'm trying out this Duke's mayonnaise, bold and creamy, bacon and tomato flavored. What y'all know about that? I'm gonna put some of that on there. I was gonna put some lettuce and tomato on there, but I, I don't even feel like it today. Nope. Got some Aldi guacamole. Go ahead and get that on there. Putting that on the bottom of my bun, guys. This looks like it has corn and beans in it. That's <laughs> it's awesome. That is awesome. And nothing but flavor. Let's go ahead and get some mushroom on there. Come on out. I'll fix them up. That should be enough. Yeah. Let's get that bacon on there. You know what? For this video, I'm going to put a third piece just because my last video, yes, yeah, I said this can never have too much bacon. So I'll just follow y'all lead on that one. All right, I'm going to put my burger with cheese on there that we made earlier. I got to have ketchup, guys. I'm sorry. I know some of you guys don't. That's how we do in New York. Okay, go ahead and add my onions to that. Come on out. Back on there. Something like that. Boom. What y'all know of bacon in your hot dog? What y'all know about that? That should be enough. Nope. I think that's enough. Nope. I'll put one there and one here. Yeah, that's good. Let's get our hot dog on here. This one is good. For you guys, I'm gonna do some mustard today. I can tolerate. I don't. I'm not a big fan of mustard, guys, but I can tolerate the French's spicy brown mustard. I I can tolerate that. Add some ketchup. And finally, guys, some onions on top of that. Let me take some of that off. Spread that out. All right, we're ready to eat now. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video's even finished. I appreciate that.
Alright guys, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. Let's try out one of these Nathan's onion rings. As always, you first. Should be nice and crispy. You got it? Mm hmm. Perfect every time, man. Ladies, you might need two hands for this one. You ready? You take the first bite. You got it? Alright. Let's do it. Mmm. So good. Nothing but flavor. Onions, apple with rub seasoning. The what your sister social sauce. Or Worcestershire, however you say it. That's how I say it. So good. So good. Take one more bite. Get that edge. Got it? Guacamole. Mm. Duke's mayo. It's just perfect. Woo! That was good. But you know you gotta try the duck style hot dog. You first. You got it? Mm. Even with the mustard, I am mad. This, this is this is fantastic, guys. You gotta try it. One more bite. You got it. Mm. Mm hmm. Woo! I'm definitely going for a bike right after this video. That was absolutely fantastic. I just air dried it. <laughs> I just ran it through um, some, not even soapy water, just warm water and a sponge and just, uh, just wiped it down. Got it clean perfectly. And as far as the griddle and the air fryer basket, I'll just put that in my dishwasher. What's today's date? It's Saturday, December 11th. December 11th. So as of today, I, um, actually, I saw this yesterday. This machine is on sale on Amazon for $210. Now, this machine just came out like, what, two months ago or a month ago? I don't, I don't recall. But a couple weeks ago. And it was over $300. It's on sale right now for $210 on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description. At that price, just get it. I mean, the last year's model is $200. So why wouldn't you get that? I mean, now this is limited time. So I don't know how long this is. Amazon didn't tell me or whatever. This is limited time. Again, prior to like a week ago, this machine on Amazon was over $300. A week ago. So... Snooze you lose is all I'm saying. I'm trying to put you on. Link will be in the description. Definitely get it. So, let's wrap this up. Who needs to get this? If you don't have an indoor grill and you don't have an air fryer, it's a no-brainer. Whether it's $210 or full price, walk outside, go get it now. If you have last year's model or the previous model, should you get this? Yes and no. Um, if you have the first version of this, then this is worth the upgrade. If you have the XL, the uh, last year's model, yes and no. Um, do you need to griddle that bad? Because other than that, um, it's just simpler to use. 
but you obviously already know how to use your Excel. You've had it for some time. So I would say yes and no for that, but definitely if you want the latest and greatest indoor grill for your kitchen, then yes, go ahead and upgrade to this. This is going on my counter. And as my subscribers know, I'm giving away my XL in a few weeks, probably a week or two. So look out for that. So there you have it. But that's all I got, guys. I hope this video was informative for you. Um, I had fun using it. Uh, look out for more cooks on this machine. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.